And I started out boxing at the age of eight years old. I loved the sport of boxing, and I still wanted to be involved with it, you know, and I wanted to give back as well. This is the neighborhood I come from. This was a neighborhood that I know that, you know, you got uh, tough kids, then you got kids that's being misguided by the streets, and it's a struggle. Actually, I was involved with a lot of uh, things that I should have been involved in. I was a drug dealer, former drug dealer. I don't know if you ever heard of the Gangster Disciples, it's the GDs. I wouldn't call it a, I wasn't a game banger, but I was affiliated with the game because if you sell drugs, you gotta be affiliated with someone or you're gonna get robbed or you're gonna get killed. On my knees one day and prayed, I asked God to take this life away from me. This is not really what I want because I started seeing people getting killed. I started people seeing people getting robbed. I didn't want to be a part of it no more. I used to study the fundamentals about boxing and uh, I just wanted to do something that I really love to do. What happened is uh, with my career, uh, back in 2001, I hurt my wrist real bad. The doctor told me that there was nothing they could do about it. At that moment, you know, I said it's over with because it's always, you know, pain. So the next uh, page to boxing is being a coach. I've been training right now. 18 years, I teach my kids the fundamentals. You can call me the foot doctor because if you have your feet in the wrong position, you don't have the right amount of power that you can really have. They don't teach that. They just teach showboat. And you know, you can't throw all those punches. Ain't nobody gonna sit there and let you throw 800 punches at them. Fighting is discipline within itself, but you got to be disciplined to be in this sport. And see, this is the type of sport that when you in it, you know, hey, you don't show up, you get showed out on. And that's the discipline of being here. I'm from San Diego, so normally I wouldn't be out here, but through YouTube, we saw an interview with uh, Coach Jeff. The dude knows what he's talking about, and that's something I need. I want to be the greatest, so I got to find those who can get me there, because I'm willing to work. I thank God that I met him, because he's a good man, he's a man of values, and you know, I appreciate that I was able to even come out here and be with him. When I see that structure is needed in their life, I bring structure in their life, and I don't have to chastise them by hitting them, I chastise them by exercising, which is gonna make them build their stamina, which is gonna make me better in the ring, and then they get an understanding when they get older, or why I was so hard on them. And it wasn't that I was so hard on them, it was just that I was just trying to show you the level of respect that you have to maintain. A lot of them be coming to me and say, Coach, this guy tried to, you know, fight me at school or whatever. And uh, I went and told the principal, I went and told my teacher, you know, things like that make me feel, you know, um, happy. You this is so he would protect his hands from getting hurt. His hands is like me, so we gotta keep him protected. You know, I always try to tell my fighters, you know, do not take this in the streets. Today's day, but they understand that it's more guns involved and it's more family uh, retaliation involved. So we can't do that today. We have to go get some help and let someone know that this is what's going on. kids disrespecting a uh, teacher and you know we feel like uh, when you come from this gym and the teachers know you're a part of this this uh, this this, this uh, fight gym we feel like you are automatically know how to act everywhere you go you know you got to be a champion inside outside the ring and by being a champion it's respect being polite and following instructions
This is my way of giving back to my community. This is something I can give back to my neighborhood, teaching boxing. And this is what I want to do to help the kids and help them, you know, succeed and be successful in life. And, you know, I just want to be a part of it because I was a part of the academic and selling their parents' drugs, so I want to help clean it up. And I live that life, so I teach kids not to live that life. I teach them not to, you know, that's not even an exception to go that route anymore. So, and that's my gift to you from God that I want to give back. Back, 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 back to those days. I was running, 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 running in one place. Set a, 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 set a pace. Feel like I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been running in one place. Yeah, I've been feeling pretty good. I've been feeling great. I've been feeling how I should, how I really should. Been growing up way too fast, like where is my childhood? Lyrics legendary like I am Robin Hood. Flow is flowing good like I am some driftwood. Doing things I said I can when others said I could. Showing up the class study and I try to make good. I am from the West, but I'm not talking Clint Eastwood. Yeah. I was thinking